feel Spanish or do you feel Nigerian? Um, just give me some yeah. second. To be honest, at the beginning I was like feeling a lot more Spanish than Nigerian. But with this trip, I think it's like 50-50. In Spain, my crew and I, we are more chill and we, we are like more relaxed. We are not living every day like it was the last, you know. And here, actually it's like that. I mean, every day is like the last day. You live like with that emotion and with that power that's like, I do whatever. I felt like really alive. With that energy, you can do a lot of stuff. Courage adopted to Spanish life. Easily because he was still a child. It was easy for him to make friends, to hear the language and the cultures, everything there. It was easy for him because he, he was schooling. So everything went smoothly. <laughs> the way we were staying, we were the first black people to be there. So everybody was trying to make friends with us. Yeah, recto, recto. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, I learned a lot because he never comes home being sad. He comes home every day happy. So me too, I was happy because I knew he was OK with his new friends. <laughs> the first time I, I saw Courage riding, you could notice something special. He was like just. This little kid with sketchy bike, he will never stop riding a anytime. Like for five hours straight, just riding, just learning. It was really amazing watching the progression. Next in, we're with Courage Adam. Watch the balance. So much control over that bike. He is the person that everyone wants to talk about. He lights people up. There's something about him that really inspires people. Born in Nigeria, raised in Pamplona, lives in Madrid. Courage Adams, one of the most well-respected and arguably best street riders in the world. We are beyond proud. I don't know how to explain. It's like, for us, it's, it's the best thing that happened that happened to us. Hey, yes, yes. Sí. Espera, 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 tío, tranquilo, tío. Since I, I came from Nigeria, I always know that I was born there and I'm from there, you know? It's crazy because everything that I have right now, I get it like here in Spain. I never thought that I could like one day we see my, my country that where, where I was born with my bike, you know, riding. I couldn't imagine that BMS could take me one day back home, you know? I may be scared too because like, wow, I can't even imagine that this is really, really happening. And it's gonna happen really soon. Super important for me because I know that it's gonna help me to improve how I am and be a riding also. And I think it's gonna change how I I see life also. I'm so nervous. Oh my god. What's up? Good to see you. What's up? Good. Thank you. 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 Thank
I mean, it marks the end of his apprenticeship, blessing for, for the future. Uh, and also means his, his studies are over and he's free to live his own life. This is a rite of passage for, for Starway, but also for me too. I couldn't believe I was finally here on my bike. That was something really awesome. And that was my introduction to the BMS Lego crew. I met up with one of the early Nigerian BMX pioneers, Olo Ryumi, to learn more about the city and, and the scene. This is my area, this is my house. Oh. This is my bike, I can use for feeding myself. Oh. This is my room. So. <laughs> Already set. That's a cool photo. Let me bring it out so you can just see it properly. Here are my mm -hmm. Sharon, Deathwheel, KK Money, Starboy, Sunny, and SK. Lagos BMS crew is one of the craziest riders that we have in Nigeria there now. I can see that now. And what we are trying to do and some tricks we are doing. Just trying to improve everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what makes BMX really sick in Lagos? Yeah. Lagos is one of the best city in all over the old Nigeria. And a lot of guys like to come to Lagos to come and see what is going on, to come and hustle for some cash, to come and have a lot of experience. It, Lagos, Lagos is a city that just brings people. More faster this way because the high is pretty good. Try to bring the bar like ah, bring it inside again. Oh, oh, you have to bring it up and let it down, and you see everything all the pedals how it's coming, and just put your legs, and that is easy. Oh, it's almost there. Been doing this up to like 16 years, but 16 years. I was the first person that bring it into the stadium, national wow. stadium. National stadium. National stadium, stadium yeah. yeah. Oh, so, man. That's as crazy. time goes on, I saw Starboy showed up. I saw some other guys started showing up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let me try this. <laughs> so that's how we learn. You learn something, you teach the others, you yeah. learn from this, you learn from that. So that's how wow, we move wow. for that. That's crazy. I mean, you did like a really great job because I think you you must feel like super proud to see like the new generation like coming up, super strong. Um, that's it. I mean, when you find something that you feel 
you feel good, you feel comfortable, you feel so, like inner peace in your body. That's it, that's it. But for me, BMX is something like that. I mean, I couldn't imagine like doing anything else right now. I mean, I'm so glad that I find something like that because it's just something I really, really love. It's mean, like everything for me. There are no skate park in Lagos. The boys learn how to ride in the streets. Um, the whole scene is it's an act of pure freestyle. We should try something like all of us. Every session here feels like crying in the eye of a storm. It's good to ride with him. Actually, that's great to ride with him. Like, I've been able to push more limits, you know, taking high risk this time and um, pushing the limits, going beyond what I can do before, you know? Most of the time, it felt like the people watching in the streets have never seen BMX before in, in their lives. I feel like the show. I feel like the job. Oh, yeah, it's so much crazy. It's giving me more respect for, for the boys, as they are the real pioneers of BMX here in Nigeria. They are following their own path among the chaos and noise of Lagos. <laughs> no way. Sorry, yeah. No, sorry. No, no, no. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this guy. I was really starting to feel what BMX meant to the guys. Among all of the chaos. I think riding our bikes and set out all the noises. When I was coming, I couldn't like imagine what I was about to see and what. And being here is like, wow, well, it's like, I actually feel like at, at home, you know? I'm really proud of being born in somewhere like this. And I'm never be, gonna be like feeling like shame or anything like that. Thank you very much about that. As soon as you know from where you are from, Just it's different, you know, it's different, you know? Because me, me also, my, my family is not rich. I mean, man, I'm coming from, I mean, where I was born in a village, in Edo, I guess, to in Benin. And I really remember that life there is nothing easy. I mean, when I was small, it was, every day was problem, 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 problem. I remember that. And it's such a crazy thing to think that, that I go out from there. I grew up in, in, in Europe, and I will never forget from where I come and from where I'm coming, and forever. Forever. Yes. <laughs> How are you, man? How are you? Oh, look up. <laughs> wow, you're growing up. That's your camera. Like the river. How are you? Yes, it's great. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Visiting my family, um, an old home, was something very really important for me to do on this trip. And I guess because some of my family members don't fully understand what I do for work in life. And to share BMX with them was, was something really, really special for me. We had a great time in, in Benin.
Oh, more, more riders coming out there. It's crazy. <laughs> Watch, 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 watch out. It's what you have seen, like what are your plans for the scene here in Fulmo? Uh, interesting question. It's crazy to see how all the level is already up because you guys are ready now to do bar spin 360. Like, it's gonna improve when we get like escape paddles. For me, it's just gonna be like a dream right now. I mean, it's like a dream that I have to see before. Before I die, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I will do my best. Seriously, I will do my best because yeah. there have to be like more opportunity, you know? It's not like you, it's like, like the kid of yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Imagine giving like a BMX or something and he start learning. And before you know it, he's, he's going to bring his friend. His friend exactly. Friend, friend, another exactly. friend, another friend. Exactly. We have like 200 of kids. Like, started riding here. Started riding here. Like, the other time you went, on this and uh -huh. you hopped. Do you want to like hop out? Yeah, yes, hop out. From here to, to the floor. Go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like that, it's not like that, I mean... Don't, don't be focused on that, so be professional, because I, when I started riding, I started with a lot of friends, and they were, like, super focused, like, I want to be professional, and when you are thinking that, oh, you will not really enjoy what you're doing, you know, you're doing it just because you want to get something from it, you know? With my experience, I can say that it's not a good way to become, like, good doing what, what you, you love. I would just tell you that just be focused on having fun. And I feel like when you have fun doing something that you really like, I mean, everything will go like flows, you know? You're gonna, you're gonna get like a balance in life. Everything will come in, in, the mo in the good moments, you know? You will be real like inner peace in, in your body. And also you will be like peacefully. That's my own experience in BMX. With life too. This was been such an amazing trip. I learned a lot of stuff from from the boys, from the city. It's so cool, I mean, to see that nothing is impossible. It's gonna help me a lot to like, keep going forward because um, to see the boys like riding keeps super motivated. Forget the economy situation, forget everything, and just try to, to be focused on your happiness and, and your way, you know? I've been with my bicycle in the boats, you know. I was a bit scared because I don't really know how to swim. 
So I just say, is this boy just cut out now? I mean, that, I just that, yeah, you know. I mean, I mean, just go down and stay there. Like, <laughs> SK! SK! <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Go on. <laughs> so it's gonna be funny. Oh. oh my god. What do you think? I'm gonna kill myself? Huh? Maybe not say. What are you going to take back to Spain? Like what? What? What's the kind of treasure you're going home with? Uh, in Spanish. Mm -hmm. lo, lo más importante que me llevo de, de este viaje es que, por muy importante que sea el dinero, la felicidad sigue siendo muchísimo más importante y sigue siendo algo que te llena de, de total satisfacción. A pesar del dinero, a pesar de, de las necesidades básicas de, del ser humano, la felicidad sigue estando ahí, sigue siendo lo, lo principal. Eso es algo que vale muchísimo más que todo el dinero del mundo. Jesus, you gonna jump from there? You, that's so scary, huh? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Dedication is number one, but see somebody doing what you like, you will like to do it too. It's always encouraging them, telling them never to give up. Despite the, the challenges, never give up. Be courageous. At the end, you are going to be perfect in it. Let's go. Jesus, my heart. que ha sido un viaje que me va a recordar para el resto de, de mi vida. Y la verdad que me alegra tener un objetivo más en la vida, que es el de intentar ayudar en todo lo que pueda. I just created a big family for being a kiss in Nigeria.